A buddy of mine gave me a hard drive out of his security DVR system. This would be a one terabyte drive, I believe. It's a Toshiba, two and a half inch. Doesn't work, can't recognize it on the computer. So I figured, okay, great. Let's tear this thing down and see if we can see why it doesn't work and uh, maybe have some fun doing so. Let's check it out. So this little uh, two and a half inch Toshiba drive is FUBAR. So I think we'll take this one apart and see what is going on. It won't spin, it won't uh, spin up, it won't do anything. So I wonder if I've got the right size little bit here to open this thing up. So let's take this little beast apart and see why it don't work. All I know is the computer will not recognize it. Um, it doesn't appear to even be spinning. So at this point the unit is shot. And it will be shot once I open it up and get dust and dirt into it. But uh, I think its seat may have seized up because it doesn't even appear to spin. This had been used in a DVR, which is not really a, a security DVR, is what it came out of. Uh, probably one more screw here somewhere that's that's holding this thing shut. I'm thinking right here, maybe. Yep. They always do that. One extra screw there. Any more hidden screws? Probably. Nope. Okay. Oh yeah. There's the problem right there. It's seized up. It won't turn. Now it turns. So how many platters are on this? Are three platters? Looks like there's a couple platters anyway, it looks like. We already see some dust on this thing. But yeah, this thing is really stiff. Now it's spinning a bit better. It'd be interesting to see if I turn this thing on whether whether it'll actually spin up. I should try that. Not that I would trust putting anything on this drive now that I've taken it apart, but this thing was seized tighter than a drum. And I just give it a bit of a spin there, and now it seems to be free. So I'm curious as to whether this thing will actually if this thing will actually do anything. As I say, I can't uh, I can't trust it, but for for shits and giggles, as they say, let's uh, let's just see whether this thing actually will be recognized by the computer now and whether I can actually write anything to it. Incidentally, if you look at this thing, it was manufactured 11th of January 2017. So I'm not that old. But it's shot. So I think we'll just we'll tear this thing down. It really won't ever work again, will it? I mean, I would never put this thing in service just because it's um, it's failed. I want to see how many platters are in there. So there's one platter there. Is there two platters or three on this thing? I think there's two platters maybe. So one terabyte. I think it's a one terabyte. Yeah, two platters. Look at all that data stored on these discs. The amount that they uh, actually can put on these things is pretty incredible. When you consider, when you consider how how small these discs are. So this one would have, uh, I guess this one has probably four heads. Yeah, I can see three separate arms here. If we can take this part apart, we take out the 
get the super magnets out of this thing. These will have some really strong magnets in them. got really strong magnets right here those super magnets great for magnetizing things and you notice that the screws are not really that magnetic nothing like yeah they, they, I mean they'll hold to them but nothing like my screwdriver screwdriver will hold everything and these ones here that these screws aren't even aren't even magnet magnetic enough to to lift the magnet you see he screws himself but that'll lift that so they are slightly magnetic but um, but not uh, not much same with the even even the disc platter here doesn't appear to be that magnetic when you put it near the magnet but obviously this platter is because that's what records take out the disc parking the disc head parking assembly and now we can remove the actual disc arm Here's the head assembly. It's connected to the data connector that connects us up to the circuit board on the outside world. So there's the head assembly on this little tiny hard drive. You can see the individual heads right there. Zoom the camera in a bit more. So there's four heads on this because there's two platters. So you can see I've just bent back two of the heads and the other two are right here. Looks like there's some silicon on here as well. And of course the positioning coil this is what moves the the uh, head back and forth on the magnet so the magnets sit over top like that and the head is directed back and forth by passing electrical signals through the coil as the as the uh, the motor spins the disc and that's pretty much we'll take out the circuit board on the bottom here oh those ones are those ones are Phillips motor contacts that supply power to the motor here through these four contacts will be a three-phase motor so you get the three phases plus the your common for the motor as you can see this thing is not spinning like it should I think what's happened on this is the bearing has uh, gone bad because that should spin a lot more than that
Anyway, that's a teardown of a little one terabyte, two and a half inch hard drive. And all kind of useless. But for some people, they like to see what goes on inside the hard drive in their computer. Even though we're making the move now to solid state drives, there are still a lot of these mechanical drives out there just because you can't get the capacity on solid state drive that you can on the mechanical drives. They're getting there. I mean, we've, we've, got, uh, we've got terabyte drives now uh, in solid state drives, but uh, you can get three, four, six gigabytes, or sorry, six terabytes on a drive this size. So the mechanical drives are still going to be around for a while, but that's part of the problem when you have a mechanical drive is that if something fails on it mechanically, you've lost all the data. I say the data on here is not critical. It was just uh, security footage. And uh, my buddy that owns it, he got an alert come up with an error one morning he went into a shop and uh, the system had a red flashing light on it that said hard drive failure so he called the security guy out and the security guy comes out and uh, swapped the hard drive and said have a nice day he put a bigger drive into he went to a four uh, terabyte drive in place of the the one that he had that came with it anyway that's uh, all there is to this one this one's going in the garbage now If you're curious about what these platters are made out of, they're actually made out of glass, as I just broke one. So they're glass that has been vacuum deposited with a metallic film, like a, like, a, like an evaporated tape. That's how they get the coating on these things, the metallic coating. If I take my trusty pliers, and uh, try not to cut myself. Got my safety glasses on, by the way. If we just give this thing a little, a little. They explode. I was kind of expecting to do to go more like that because this one here, I just kind of, when I was throwing stuff in the garbage, I dropped it and it hit the ground and it broke into pieces. I was kind of expecting it to break like that, but as you can see, it completely shattered. So if you ever heard the term, I had a hard drive explode? Well, that's a hard drive exploding. We'll uh, catch you in the next one. Bye for now.